Hello again, we're going to take a look at the app called EduCreations, which is in the second row next to Poplar. EduCreations is a great screencasting app, and by that I mean that you get a blank screen or some sort of background that you can write and record over at the same time. So to start a new lesson, I'm going to do exactly as it tells me and tap the plus. And you'll see here's that white background. Um, on that white background, I can use the pen tool at the top of the screen and I can draw on the screen using my finger or a stylus. I can change the color of my font and I of course have an eraser tool that I can use to erase what I have done. Um, so you could, example, um, set everything up beforehand. So I could set up a math problem beforehand and then I could record my solving of that problem. Um, I also have some more options though, so let's take a look. The plus sign in the toolbar that's on the same level as the colors gives me some options. Um, I get three options that come for free, so I could add a text box and you can type in your text. Um, I can add in a photo and this is photos from my photo library for my camera roll. Um, maybe I want to pull that pop-up that I did earlier. And I can size it by pinching and zooming. The other thing that I can add is I could actually snap a picture um, from you know the world around me. The bottom three you have to pay for. Educrations did, um, like so many apps, recently go a free versus paid version. It used to be completely free. Um, now there are some features that they are requesting that users pay for. But honestly, the free version is just fine. Um, very, very top toolbar. I also see the plus, so notice that I can duplicate the page in the ink or duplicate just the page itself. Um, so I could pick those if I wanted to. But I can on the very bottom right and left, you'll see sort of like navigation. Right now I'm on page one of one, but maybe I want a second page and I want to set up a second problem that's a little bit more challenging that I'm going to work on solving. And I can navigate between the pages by simply tapping the arrows on the bottom of the screen. So when I have everything set up like I would like it, I can go ahead and start recording. In the upper left corner you'll see a red microphone. I'm going to tap it. And right now I'm actively recording. And I know that I'm actively recording because I can see the timer counting at the very top. Right now everything that I say and everything that I draw is being captured by my iPad's microphone. So I could go through and I could explain that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Um, and I can see that there are two blue popples on this poplet. And I'm still recording. And I switch over to the next page. Notice the timer is still counting. And I have my math problem 0 plus 2 is 2. And 1 plus, well, nothing is 1. So that gets me 12. And everything I do is being added. While I'm recording, I could add a photo. You're going to see that it says recording is paused while you add content. So it's not actually going to show this piece in my presentation later. Um, but I could add in a different picture. Um, let's go with, I do like Albert. There we go. Hi, Albert. And I could fit Albert in here. And when I'm done, I can hit the little red X to kind of unpause. And then I can hit the microphone to keep recording again. So now it picks up right where I left off. And I can navigate between my slides as I go. I could even add a third page on the fly if I wanted. And maybe I want to draw a tree. I'm not a very good artist, so sorry. Um, and I could keep going and I could erase and I could do anything that I wanted to do while it's recording. And when I'm done, I simply tap. So at this point, I have a minute recording and I have my three slides and I'm done and I want to do something with this. So I'm going to use this little button up here and it says save draft or save finished video. Well, I'm done, so I'm going to go ahead and save my finished video. And it's going to ask me for some details. Demo lesson. Um, I don't have a description for this. I'd like to keep it private, but I could keep it public if I wanted. And I could choose a subject area and grade. And I can hit save. In order to get my video that I made um, anywhere other than just on my iPad, I'm going to need to create an account. 
So I would go ahead and if I were you and I would type sign up. So it's going to ask if you're a teacher or a student, go ahead and select teacher. And it's going to give me an opportunity to sign up using Google on the very bottom. Go ahead and do that since that makes the most sense since we already have district Google accounts. So you can see that little arrow and um, that little arrow means that or meant that it was uploading to the cloud. And at this point, all I would have to do is tap on my lesson in order to see it, as you see right now. It is going to play back my lesson for me. I have the sound turned down, but this is my lesson playing back. I really don't want to listen to myself, so I hit pause in the corner. In the right-hand corner, there's a box with an arrow jumping out of it. If I tap that, I get some options for what I can do with this video. You'll see message, mail, Twitter, and so on, but yeah, that's not so helpful for me right now. Across the bottom, I see some other ones. I see save video. That save video option, unfortunately, it's only for the paid version. There's copy link. I like that one. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And that copies a link to my video to the iPad's clipboard. And I could do lots of things with that link. I could paste it in a haiku message to my teacher to send them my video. I could put it in a Google Doc and put that in my portfolio. And that web link is awfully powerful. There is another option for copy embed code. If I was making um, maybe a wiki site on a haiku page, I could put in my video directly. But really, copy link works just fine. So when I'm done, I hit done, and I can see all the videos that I have in my account. That's pretty simple. I hope that sort of gives you the overview that you need to understand educations. Thanks!